Here's my Heathkit clock set up with the breadboarded circuit. I turn on the clock and the controller circuit and the first thing it does is switch to alarm mode and set the alarm to 630 which is what I set the alarm to the last time it was turned on. It then switches to time mode and waits for a GPS signal. A minute or two later it gets the time from the GPS and sets the clock. Both the alarm setting and the time zone were stored in the controller's flash memory the last time the clock was powered on. Inside the clock, I removed the clock chip and replaced it with a ribbon cable. The clock chip is now on the breadboard. The ribbon cable brings most of the signals to the clock chip. There are a few that only go to the microcontroller now. The signals are at 22 volts, so I send them over to analog multiplexers. The signals are scanned one at a time and converted to 3.3 volts for the PIC32 microcontroller. The PIC32 gets the time signal from the GPS module. It then simulates button pushes on the clock via an analog switch. This allows the 3.3 volt microcontroller to send 22 volt signals to the clock chip. The breadboarded circuit was reproduced on a printed circuit board and put inside the Heathkit clock. Here's the final result. I turn on the clock and, as before, it sets the alarm. Then, when it gets a GPS signal, it sets the time. I can change the time zone or adjust for daylight saving time with the slow and fast switches. The slow switch sets the clock back by an hour. Notice that to do this, the microcontroller sets the time to midnight, then fast forwards to the correct time. The fast switch sets the clock forward by an hour. If I switch the clock to alarm mode, the slow and fast switches work normally. Now that I've changed the time zone and the alarm setting, they'll be remembered in the microcontroller's flash memory the next time there's a power outage. Now at this point, the clock is set almost to the correct time. We haven't done anything to the seconds, so the time could be off by as much as 59 seconds. So every day at midnight local time, the microcontroller sets the clock to midnight. This has the effect of synchronizing the seconds.